I woke up this morning with a smile on my face, something that has not graced my cheeks for some time now. My eyes were open, but I was still in a world of imagination, dreaming about my home, my real home and true life before this nightmare began. In my heart's world, I was still African, enjoying a day like most others, cooking, cleaning, and tending to my daughter, Nzinga. Her name dances like sweet sugar cane on my tongue. I can see her and I, there in my mind, safe at home. Nzinga! Nzinga, come get washed for supper. I remember the sucker was boiling on the fire and the fufu was still fresh from its morning bake. Sweet and spicy aromas danced in the air, filling our hut with smells of home. Home. I don't even know what that means anymore. It sounds bittersweet to me now. The sweet is fading quickly. The gash on my cheek from Master's whip stings as I wipe tears from my eyes. I fight back the sting in my chest that follows and close my eyes tightly. The darkness fades into the image of my daughter standing before me. Her sweet smile frames her silky dark chocolate skin and her eyes shine just like her father's did. The images in my mind run away as the work bell rings. I wedge myself up by my arms to prepare to rise from the floor where I slept. My fingers sink into the small puddle of tears that sit beside me. My back feels stiff as a board. Wooden beds do such damage to a body. Small bruises line my upper back and both sides of my thighs. Bruised from a hard day in the field and rough nights on the floor. I spend every night shifting to find comfort, but it is so pointless. A pointless game of cat and mouse. I can never chase it down. The tiny shack that makes up my forced home is completely dark. The sun has not yet risen and there are no lights to shine in. The doorless room faces the open field where light neither shines by night or day. Darkness. It is always dark out there even on the brightest summer afternoon. Sadness fills my heart as I gather my rations for the long day's work. I will spend this day as all others, sweating under the oppression of the hot sun, doing another's work for their own gain, and thinking about Nzinga. But not sweet memories like in my dreams. I will replay the day they took my little girl away from me. I will see it and feel it all over again, like it is happening for the first time. It was when we first arrived on this foreign land that they took my sweet Nzinga away. We had been stolen from our home in Africa in the middle of the night. Men with pale skin came like a sudden wind and carried us across the sea. The horror of our passage to this land is something human language cannot even begin to describe. While I was frightened, I was so thankful that whatever was to be, we would be together. But then my greatest fear came to pass, the horror in her eyes the fear on her face, that terrifying sense of loss and loneliness as they drug her away from me, screaming. I will hear that scream all day long, 
and imagine all kinds of awful things that could be happening to her right now. My tears will be my water today, <laughs> as they are every day. I will work and cry and work and cry some more until I return to my dreaded home at the falling of the sun, crawl onto my wooden bed and find moments of peace with my daughter in my dreams. <laughs>